What's going on, mother truckers? The police chief of Ottawa has a message to all the truck drivers around the world and to all the people that want to come and support the truck drivers in Ottawa. So this is a message straight from the horse's mouth. So mother truckers, comment down below. We will begin with remarks from Ottawa Police Deputy Chief Steve Bell. Thank you very much, Amy. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. The Ottawa Police Service and its partners continue to work all out to put a safe end to the unlawful occupation of our downtown core and improve neighborhood safety. Our surge and contain strategy, which has reduced the footprint of the demonstrators, continues. As we do police operations, our police operations are focused on enforcement in our downtown core. Yesterday, an important court order was issued in relation to the demonstration. The Ottawa Police Service is authorized to enforce compliance with the terms of a court order. The Ottawa Police Service continues to have authority under Section 127 of the Criminal Code to arrest and lay a charge for breaching a court order. Auto police officers will exercise their discretion in enforcing this order and any criminal investigation arriving from, uh, arising from an alleged breach of this order. We're working to ensure we're enforcing the order. Work is underway to fully brief all officers on the terms of the order and their role in enforcing it. We continue to capture and document evidence. We'll have an update on this later today. As more resources become available to us, we will use them specifically to focus on the unlawful demonstrators whom have chosen to remain in our city. To date, we've made 22 arrests, issued more than 1,300 tickets, and have 79 ongoing criminal investigations. We've seized fuel and cut off material, financial, and logistical support to the occupation. We've seized and towed some vehicles and continue to face resourcing and operational challenges in doing more. Many heavy vehicles in the downtown core have been immobilized. Some demonstrators have in indicated a desire to leave. In some cases, they're blocked in by other vehicles, and where possible, we're working to facilitate their departure. Through intelligence, we've also learned that almost 25% of the 418 trucks encamped in our city have children living in them, children who could be at risk during a police operation. We're working with the Children's Aid Society to ensure their welfare and safety. Finally, our message to demonstrators remains the same. Don't come. And if you do, there'll be consequences, including financial consequences, for your illegal and unlawful behavior.